right so we're gonna start by creating the folder for our application okay so here let me create one let's just name our folder uh, express app all right and let's open our code editor mine is visual studio code and let's go to file and open folder and since it's in my desktop I'm gonna open this right here all right now the first thing that you need to do whenever you are creating an application in Express or wherever whenever you are using Express is creating a package.json file all right so first let me open the terminal as I said you need to install node.js and I hope you guys have already installed node.js all right so if you want to check whether the node.js is installed or not just type node v and if you enter right now it's saying version 12.18.3 which is the version that is installed in my system all right you might have a different version but if you see something like this then node.js is installed in your system all right now in order to create a package.json file all you have to do is in your terminal you need to type npm sorry npm in it okay now if you guys don't know what npm is npm is a node package manager so which comes along while you installed node.js and basically this npm is a command that you will require or that you will need in order to install several dependencies all right so npm init will create a package.json file for you okay so if you hit enter now here it will ask for certain things all right it will ask a package name and I want the package to be express app itself so let's just hit enter the version is going to be one uh, description let's see um, a small application you can write anything that you want all right now entry point is something important all right it is the main JavaScript file of your application all right the file that is going to be loaded so for that I don't want it to be index.js so let's write app dot js right so i want app.js to be our main javascript file where we will be doing all the backend code all right so let's hit enter test command let's just leave leave it like that uh, git repository let's just leave it like that leave it like that for the author uh, you can write your own name i'm gonna write script nation and hit enter and license i see that's okay and is this okay yes and there you go you have now created package.json file and whatever data that we gave right now is going to be there in our package.json file also all right so if you open this up and there you go you have the name express app version description the main file which is app.js all right stuff like that and later on if you add certain dependencies just like express and other dependencies which I'll be talking about later on it's gonna be recorded in this package.json file automatically all right so let's just close this for now now once you've created package.json file it's time to install express in our application all right so what you're gonna do is say npm install express all right simple as that npm install express and we're gonna hit enter and this will store express in your application now when I was first starting out with express I was really intimidated by this because I didn't understand what was going on and there were, there were a lot of complications while I was starting out so let me make this thing clear express what we did just now we just added a dependency or you may say a module all right a pre-written code that you can use in our application and express is also something like that there are pre-written codes or methods that you can use in your application in order to create the back end of your application or a website all right so right now here we have our node modules folder all right and inside there are a lot of stuffs uh, if you have gone through my node.js course if you haven't uh, do check that hours out as well uh, i've also talked about this node modules folder in that video as well but here you have a lot of modules and you also have express right here because just now we installed that all right so we are just using this dependency in our application so now the express is installed it's just installed we haven't used it it's installed in our application 
now what we need to do is create our main file all right main javascript file the while creating package.json file we set that to app dot app dot js all right so we need to create that file that says app dot js all right and it's going to be our main javascript file so here if you just write a uh, console dot log and say app and here if you say let's say that if you say node app it's gonna work so what we need to do here is bring the express file or the express dependency that we just installed all right so we need to bring that express module so we're gonna say const express equals to and now we need to bring that module here all right so in node.js you have a function called require and require is not a javascript basic javascript function it is a it is a node.js function all right and inside require we'll say express all right this code right here will bring the our x will bring our express module which is right here and it will be saved in our express variable all right and next what we're going to do is say const and now we're going to create our app variable and we'll set that to express brackets and with the help of this app variable we'll be able to use all the methods and all the services that express provides okay now express is installed we have also created our small setup the first thing we need to realize and understand is that whenever we are using a backend language or a backend framework or doing something in backend, we need a server for our application to run. And Express provides a service or a method for creating a server, alright? And that method is app.listen. And this method will create a server. So this listen method will require two things. The first one is the port. And the second one will be a callback function. All right. Now, port is basically a connection for your application and the server itself. All right. So basically, it's a number. Now, it's not like you you can give a random number that you want. Some of the port are fixed and reserved. However, we have some ports that we can use in order to test our application and in on and also for development purposes all right and one of them is port 3000 so we just, we're just going to add 3000 here and in our callback function we're going to say console.log server is running all right you don't even need brackets here because it's a single statement all right once the server is created this function will run and what this function does right now is it console logs server is running all right so let's run this file and see what happens so i'm going to say node app and hit enter and now as you can see here it says server is running that which means that the server is created and our app is listening to port 3000 all right so if you go to our browser and here if i type localhost colon 3000 right because the port number is 3000 and if I press enter there you go we have created our server although we're getting error that says cannot get slash but still as you can see the server is working if it was not working we would have gotten error something like this if I say localhost 4000 we would have gotten this the site can be reached all right however we are not getting this okay we are getting cannot get slash which means the server is working although we're getting an error but still the server is working